Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special Tiny Towns live stream. Today is the release day of Tiny Towns Villagers, and an awesome setup for you today. Woo! And we are joined by Ross Connell of More Games, Please. Thanks for being here. Oh, hello. Hi. Thanks for welcoming me onto this launch day celebration. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be awesome. And of course, we also have Vladimir Oriana on tech, as always. Hello, everyone. <laughs> He's laughing. That's never a good sign. How's my pronunciation? <laughs> it's awesome, but I'm laughing now. Awesome. So, Andy Vett just said on the chat, "You people need to pay, make up your minds." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we are we stopping or starting? Nobody knows. It's confusing. It's a special event. It's a very special day. That's also, right. we have Josh Wood, co-designer of Tiny Towns Villagers, developer Woo. of Tiny Towns, and designer of Santa Monica Cat Lady. Woo. Other Hello, everybody. <laughs> and we've also got Ryan Dancy. Hello. <laughs> I'm, just, right. I'm just glad I was able to make sure that the product got into the warehouse in time to get released. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. I mean, you know, there was a little bit there when it was looking like it might come yeah. out next year. And yeah, then suddenly, oh, it's happening late October. So yeah. Yeah, we were like October, no November. Well, maybe December. Okay. It's going to be March next year. We're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it got into the warehouse and it got distributed. So we're in good shape. Woo. Yeah. Times are a bit, a bit unpredictable. Um, yeah. And so, so we've got an unpredictable uh, surprise stream for you. So thank you all for joining. <laughs> and we have some new Tiny Towns Villagers buildings we're going to be showing off. The hearth is a new one. I don't think we've shown before. But most importantly, we're going to be playing with the villagers today. So if you have a moment and if you want to play with the villagers mode, take a sec to grab any three meeples or tokens. Um, if you have little animal meeples, that works, that works pretty nicely. But grab three villager tokens and put them in the corners of your board. Doesn't matter which corners, uh, unless you like your board oriented a particular way. And so our buildings for today, we've got the cottage as always. We have the farm, our red building. The hearth is a new one from villagers that I'll come back to in ah, a moment. Give me one second, almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, keep going. Keep, keep going. All right. The temple, our orange building, also from villagers, is the public house there you go. that I'll come back to. The market is our yellow building, and our black building is the trading post. And so the hearth is a easy one to build. It's not worth any points, but what it does for you is as soon as you build a hearth, you can immediately take any one of your villagers who's wandering around your board and put them into one of your buildings. In just a moment, when I talk about how the villagers work, um, I'll explain why you're trying to get them into your buildings. The public house is worth one point for every unique building type you have an even number of in your town. And yes, that does count public houses themselves. So that can be a really pointy one. So in villagers, you've got three lovely villagers wandering around your town and they are trying to end up in buildings. So basically, you want your villagers to be on a space that you predict will be the space where the last resource of the building goes and where you end up making that building. So if I wanted to put this, this lovely bird here into a cottage, let's say, if I had a wheat and a glass right here, I would be waiting for a brick so that when brick is called, I put it where the songbird is there take the resources off and then build a cottage on the same space as the bird meeple. So now that villager is working in this cottage and they're ready to do special abilities for me. We've got two abilities today, which are on the screen right now. So if you want to take a sec to get a screenshot of those, remember what they do, that's a good idea. And of course, there's no pressure to play with villagers. If you just want to play vanilla tiny towns, that's absolutely fine. So uh, you're trying to get villagers in the final space where the final resource goes for a building and then also make the building on their space. If you were to put a resource on the space where a villager is and not build, at the end of that round, that villager will move to an adjacent space if there is one available. If they don't have anywhere they can legally move to, they pop off of your board and then you can put them onto any other empty space on your board. Um, when you use villagers for an ability, the two abilities we have today cost either one villager or two. Uh, when you use villagers for an ability, they pop off of your board out of those buildings. You set them aside briefly. If you have the expansion yourself because you ran out early to your friendly local game store, you put them onto your lodge board. 
then at the end of the round, you put them back on in any two empty spaces. So basically, at the end of a round, if a villager is in the same space as a resource, they move to an orthogonally adjacent space. Um, if you put them on the same space as the last resource of a building, you put the building on their space if you wish, and they now work in that building. So the two abilities we have today. You might have to re-explain that. Apparently, your board is not on the screen right now because the cards are like large on it. Okay, but I'll do a I'll do a quick recap. And I will clear, um, the, clear the screen. Sure, thanks, Vlad. Uh, also, it's worth noting that a villager does not occupy a square, so you're allowed to put a resource on them. Um, so they don't they don't fill up the square. And at the end of the game, uh, only spaces that have uh, Spaces that have villagers or cubes in them still count as minus one. So a villager doesn't fill up the empty space for anything. I'll wait for Vlad to move those. Yeah, they're those already out. In. Okay, great. So basically, if you wanted to put this bird here into a, a hearth, let's say, if you had a wood here, you could put a stone on the same space as the bird. You take the resources off. If you build that hearth on the same space as the bird, the bird is now working in that building and ready to perform abilities for you. So the two abilities we have today. Forage costs one villager and it lets you place a resource of your choice in your town. Simple as that, very useful. Cooperate is a bit a bit sillier. It costs two villagers and it lets you construct a building using resources anywhere on your board. So you could have um, some real shenanigans going on where you have a glass there, a wheat there and a brick over here. And you say, I'm using cooperate to make a cottage, pick up those cubes and then like normal, put the cottage in any one of the squares where one of the resources was. So even if your board is a terrible shape, you can still end up making some late game buildings with cooperate. It's super useful. Alrighty, so hopefully everyone has found a moment to grab some tokens or uh, meeples to put on their board. Put them in any three of the corners. As usual, give yourself two monuments to play with uh, and pick one that you're going to play with today. Just be sure to take out the Starloom and Opalize Watch. And Vlad, who are we joined by in the stream today? We've got a good crowd. One second, and I'm going to tell you about... Everyone on the stream, and I'm gonna start by saying hi to uh, da -da -da. Uh, Jen Lee, Julian Lehner, Josh Wood, Joseph Manley, Michael Van Den Agen, David Bauer, Wayne Roberts, Omar Hernandez, Emily Catherine, Carly Wagner, Roberto Garcia, Michael Lewis, Amy Kaiser. Ilya Ushakop, Mark Afren, Teresa Schumacher, Jasmine Fuentes, Emily Catherine, Kristen Dinges, Tori Haitland, Krista Jones, Kristen Dinges, Rose Graham. Welcome to a new game of Tiny Towns. Woohoo! Wow, yeah, I'm thanks for. Yeah, go thanks ahead. Thanks for please. coming back, everyone. Feels like it's been a while, doesn't it? One yeah. week. Um, I, I can right. tell we're lucky in like Rusty. We're like, uh, uh, but the stream, what what do we do? <laughs> I feel rusty. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I do feel bit. rusty too. And remember, today we're going to do a big giveaway of three copies of Billiers and dun, 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 Tiny Trees. You're, going up, you're getting a bundle what? of Billiers and Tiny Trees. And wow. if you Whoa. want to win... <laughs> yeah. And... Well, sorry. Go ahead. Finish your sentence. Flight. No, no, no. Show it up. Show it up. It's your. It's oh, your I moment. I just got. I just got my tiny trees yesterday. So look at that. Um, it looks fantastic. It's got these awesome, awesome wooden meeples here. The little acorns and trees. I mean, this Aww. is just such a good stocking stuffer. Oh, I love the way cute. packaged. I love this mini expansion. Um, it is going to be such a fun one. And I'm if pretty you want sure to those are going to be in the store on reasonably Monday. soon. Monday. 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 Monday oh, is going to be the day that you're going to start seeing your micro expansions. And we're starting with the Evergreen expansion for Mystic Vale and Tiny Trees for Tiny Towns. Right on. Sounds great. All right. Without further ado, I will get started here. The first resource of the day is a wheat. Um, I'm gonna do this. Wait, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> and I Putting a resource on the board. I and it's wheat. <laughs> okay. And it seems that I missed a bunch of people. I'm so sorry. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I'm getting rusty. Out of practice. All right. After that, wheat is a wood. Wood. 
is all right. I'm going for my I'm going for my my monument really early. Wow. Me too. What'd you what'd you pick, Josh? You know, I'm picking a new one. I'm picking the Adventurers Guild. You Ooh. know what? I'm picking the Adventurers Guild too because it's just it's just so fun. So, and I'll I'll take a sec to show it off. The way the Adventurers Guild works is as soon as you finish it, you make a stack of the five resources on top of, uh, if you're feeling daring, on top of the monument token itself. And then on future turns, whenever a resource is called, you have the option to instead place a resource from your Adventurers Guild. Um, it's really fun. And this actually is a very early Tiny Towns monument. This was uh, one of the ones we were testing for the original Tiny Towns, but we decided it was just a little too, a little too weird, a little too wonky for all these people's first experiences. But now there are two expansions in, we can get a little, a little weird and wonky. After that, wood is a builder's choice. Mm. Um, Emily asks, um, can uh, villagers and forts be played together? Yes, in fact, we did um, specifically even put in a building. Um, or a, a villager ability if you're playing with the two of them together um, to, to make it like extra fun. Mm -hmm. um, it's a villager ability that allows you just to automatically fill your chest full of coins. Um, it, it's, it's a lot. It's, you know, it's a lot to think about, but it is super fun. And those games can be really bonkers and really like crazy and a lot of fun. Yeah. I love the, I love the comment awesome. about, um, about, how long it like they saw the picture of you pete and they were like how long has it been since the last drinks i think your hair's a lot longer on the picture and they were like <laughs> has it been that long it has my hair's longer my my beard's a bit longer too um i mean what is what is time anymore i've got clocks on every wall of my apartment now just going on myself the passage of time <laughs> during quarantine all right after that builder's choice is a wheat which wait, is wait. pretty okay. Wait. Yeah, it's not my favorite either. Mm. Um, and so we've talked about villagers a good deal, but just uh, in case anyone is unaware, what this expansion adds is three new sets of building cards, 95% uh, of which can be played with base game Tiny Town. So you don't have to play with the villagers mode. There's a lot of content to enjoy. If you just want sort of more of the same, you can mix them all in. My deck of Tiny Towns cards is now gigantic. It's awesome. Um, so if you just want tons of replayability, it's definitely a good expansion for that. Um, but of course, it also introduces this villagers mode that we're currently playing. Um, and instead of the villagers just doing one thing, sort of like the coins do in Fortune, there's seven different abilities they can give you, and you're going to play with two of them in any given game. So that adds a bunch of replayability as well. There's five new monuments. There's a super hard mode called Tiny Tears. Uh, this is a packed expansion we're really excited about. Yeah, I, I know. It's a stone. I know a big design goal for us with this expansion was to um, give people who just want more of the same some stuff, but to give people who wanted, you know, new challenges something and then people who wanted just more power or something and then people just wanted like you know like you know like you said it, it's totally worth it just for the new monuments and then the you know you get three more orange cards three more yellow cards three more black cards right like the that alone makes it like really worth it to me and then there's all these other fun, fun modes that you can just play with that had a lot of like kookiness to the game that's awesome yeah I'm I'm happy with how this one turned out for sure. It's great. Ilya is saying right. thank you for doing these live streams. It's so great to be part of the community. I have to go on a hunt for villagers this weekend. So yeah, awesome. you can you can actually start getting villagers today on your friendly local game store, and we hope that you enjoy it. Please join the Tiny Tons group. Send us pictures of your games. But don't buy villagers before the end of the stream because you could win it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And after that stone is a builder's choice. Mm. Glass. I'm also placing glass. So glass is going to be coming up really soon, as is the... Yeah, you're it's going to be the next that. resource. Wait for the stone to finish your thing in the corner. It's Yeah, I'm waiting for stone for my adventure skill. Uh, are you in the same boat, Josh? Yeah. Yep. Brick is next. Yeah, I had to put an awkward stone down that I did not really want to put where I put it, but... Yeah, brick, and you're making brick, me push brick. Brick. brick is brick is bad. Um, <laughs> brick is yeah. bad. Yeah. Um. 
feel like I'm just pushing my villagers around the board. I just push yeah, mine off. I just push mine off the board. Poor little, poor little chap. They're going to come back in a minute, but yeah. Sometimes cornering your villagers deliberately yeah. so that put them anywhere can be a nice reset. Um, because when they just get bumped one space, sometimes you're like, man, I'm I can't imagine when I'm going to put a building there next. So mm. yeah, that can be a good reset. Donnell is asking how do we win villagers? Well, the first copy is going to be given at random between everyone that likes and shares the stream. We usually do this with every live stream. Then, on the first shuffle, we're going to ask a question on Facebook, and you will see a screen popping up on your... You're going to see a window popping up on your screen. You're going to type the answer, and we're going to choose at random. And then we're going to do the same on the second shuffle, and those are your three chances to win a copy of Villagers and Tiny Trees. Awesome. All right, the um, next resource is a wood. Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so I have, I I have a question for Ryan. Ryan, yes. are the two Calico Kickstarter cat packs on the store different? They are the same as the cats that were added in the Kickstarter. Okay. I don't know if that answers the question. I don't know if they're different cats or not. I don't think they're different cats. No, I think they are. I think they are the same. Julian says, can we show the villager? Sure. Again? Give me one second, Julian. <sighs> For some reason, I, instead of moving or hiding the thing, I have been erasing the thing and I have to redo this every time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Julian. Alrighty, and the next resource is going to be. Uh, oops, I just I just looked at the builder's choice card. I got a shuffle for sake uh, of honesty. You were gonna you were gonna give me the resource I wanted. Now you it was going now to you, be glass. Oh, it. I am. Oh, I still am. It's builder's choice, but I looked at the burned card by accident, and I don't want any. I don't. Oh, want any... what did you call after that? Before that, builder's choice. Wood was before that builder's choice. Thank so, you. So now, now is builder's choice. Okay, cool. It cool, is cool. currently builder's choice, and I am finally tucking a villager. <laughs> We're both building our thing. We're building yes. the same monuments and I got a trading post just sitting pretty right in the middle of my board. That is a building that I forgot about until so... you mentioned it. I should make one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the same thing. I was like, uh, you know, like there was a big gap in between the two last two turns, and I was like, oh wait. I should just move this wood over here so I can build a uh, trading post. Yep. Ah, okay. So, Pete, I just want to point out that you had been 55 resources without calling glass. You're tracking. I have gone 55 because that's right. Last game, we had a glass right at the beginning and then not for the rest of the day. Is, wow. there, is, there, some, is there some kind of like law in the world of tiny towns where glass is this precious resource it seems that no one's going to have them? I might have a bit of a reputation for being terrible at calling resources. So, oh. I didn't warn you because I didn't want you to change your mind about coming on the screen. Next like, up, the... look at that. Woohoo! It's a glass. Finally! Call it. Everyone rejoice. Call it. Our long, our long national nightmare is over. Yeah. Yep. And you know, it's funny when we played the giant game of Tiny Towns at Gen Con with a thousand people, uh, which was amazing. I also didn't call Glass for a really long time, and there was this moment for like, the end of the second shuffle through the deck when I called a Glass, and everyone just cheered, and yeah. it was so cool. It was such an awesome moment. That was awesome. That, that's such a great gaming experience. Kristen is the same pack. Uh, alpha stores are retailers that are part of one of our programs. And if that's showing up, I think we need to work a little bit with that on the online store. But yeah, either package will work for you. And I will recommend to get the one that doesn't say alpha stores. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that. That's what uh, Richard doing. says that's the last glass for the game. You know what? It's <laughs> release day. I'm feeling generous. Here's the second glass. Woo! Oh, oh really? Oh, the curse is wow. crazy talk. talk. Nice. Yes, and then I go on to call six glass in a row, and everyone is begging for mercy. Everyone's like, again. <laughs> not so sure about this. If, we you could, if you could make, if you could mix a brick in every now and again, I'd like that. That'd be great. Okay, I'll I'll work on that. But right now is a builder's choice, so. Mm -hmm. So it was two, two glass and then a builder's choice? Yes. It was two glass and a builder's choice, yep. Right. 
Right, right, right. Bill's his choice. The oh, long national doing? nightmare will be over on Tuesday. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Okay. All right. So his choice. Oh, oh, what was that? Hopefully there? Oh, on that. Tuesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe after Tuesday. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, you guys have your elections this weekend, right? Yeah, on Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Oh. Results are going to be a while yet, though, so you're going to have to hang in oh, there man. and get, get stressed out while you're waiting. Well, yeah, the yeah I've got some friends who want to play some online games on Tuesday, and it's just like, I don't think I'm going to be able to focus at all. Focus. Um, I think I'm just going to be having a ice cream eating contest or something. I don't know. After during, that, during builder's last... choice is a wood. Ooh, wood, okay. Good, all right. During All the right. last uh, elections, right. I, I remember what was going on. I was playing Secret Hitler, and then results started coming in, and I was oh like, "Oh my god!" Wow. And, and and like I I have not been able to play that game since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that would be a little traumatizing. Um, all right. After that, wood is a brick. There you go, Ross. Ooh, Pete. Well, um, thank you. Well, thank you. Oh, I like that brick. I don't know if I do. I mean, I don't want it anymore, but I'll take it. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I am going to use my Adventurer's Guild. Josh, did you build yours in an actual tower on top of your monument? I, I didn't oh, go on gosh. top of the monument. I, I just did beside the monument. So it doesn't count. My, mine's a little bit from. like, uh, like I'm, I'm worried I will knock that over based on how high my board has to sit up to my like chest. Because like, you know, when I'm sitting down, like it's yeah. a little too high where I think I would knock it over if it was on that. We should make a dexterity monument where you put a bunch of cubes on top and if you knock it over, there's some consequence. <laughs> don't have yeah, to do look, don't I mean, have to do you know, it Carcassonne did did a dexterity element and that everyone loved that. The famous catapult expansion. I should try to find that expansion somewhere. That is so so I I love the fact that people are worse were came up the term for like when a game had too many expansions that it started getting boring is um instead of jumping the shark they started calling catapulting the meatball <laughs> i've never heard that but i'm going to use it after that brick is a builder's choice to end that first shuffle through the deck builder's choice yes 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 and oh. this is the time for me well, to pull out i already the messed my whole strategy that i was going to do I almost did too. I built a row of markets, markets. And, oh, and now I can't build a row of markets. Well, no, I'm in the same boat, but I'm going to build it in the middle because I think yeah. I think it's going to be a bit more possible because of cooperate. Yes, I also think with my um, trading posts, right? Like that, I think that can be done now. Oh, thank you for once again reminding me that I should be building trading posts. I should take up a villager off the board oh, and get okay. a resource I... and a choice. Is that your first villager ability, Ross? Yeah. So yeah. So for people watching, I just used the uh, the forage ability. Took my re took my villager out of a building and stuck a, a, a resource of my choice on the board. Mm -hmm. It's pretty Love handy. It. Mm -hmm. um, so Ross, you want to talk a little bit about um, what it is you do and and maybe your your uh, board game streaming and video game streaming you've been doing lately? Sure, yeah. Uh, so I'm Ross. I, I wear lots of different hats. I work full time in the board game industry. I'm uh, Alley Cat Games Community Manager as a day job. Uh, I'm also a freelance board game photographer, which is how I actually make most of my income. And I also stream board games uh, on Twitch twice a week, Mondays and Wednesdays at, I guess it's currently like midday uh, Pacific time, or, or I would call it 7 p.m. UK time. Um, and I run a website where I interview board game illustrators. I've got an Instagram account with like 15,000 followers. I do a bunch of stuff. I like board games. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and your photos, I mean, your photography is, is incredible. So you do, you do awesome work. It always looks so, so glamorous and inviting. Um, and I'm really like the way I buy board games. I'm so visual, like table presence matters so much to me. And, um, you really do an awesome job of showcasing how lovely games look. Thank you very much. Yeah. One, of, I mean, one of the biggest mistakes I get into as a designer is that I spend so much time on my prototypes because I just want even my prototypes to look good. Yeah. You know, like yeah, I remember yeah. when I designed Santa Monica, I like drew all the, I like drew like a, like every single image in the game. I mean, we didn't use that artwork, but like just so people get an idea of what I wanted the game to look like at the end. 
And, you know, for Cat Lady, I did the same thing. I drew all the images and actually that's what's in the game. Um, all my prototype art is what is in the final game. So it's kind of funny. So I'm going to show everyone a, a new Pete McPherson prototype. It's called Wizard Words. This is the board. Ah. And this is the other board. <laughs> <laughs> on paper. For, for people who like seeing lines on sheets of paper you're gonna be really excited by that view yeah oh yeah yeah i no, i like making a glamorous prototype when i'm like pitching it toward the end if i can but when mm. i'm starting out i make it i make it so cheap and ugly that i can throw it in the trash and not feel yeah. too bad there's a whole there's a whole design philosophy, right? I'm not a designer, so I'm you know you have to bear with me talking in layman's terms. But like, fail faster. So prototype as quick as you can, and then get it to the table, try it, see if it works. And then if you're spending a lot of money on something that's broken, then you 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 know you're wasting your own time and money. You may as well make it cheap, and then you can just give yeah. it a try, change yeah, it really yeah. easily. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think you can do it sort of either way. I mean, if you make your prototypes really nice looking, you're going to get a better sense of the experience. It's easier to get play testers if you have a really flashy looking prototype. That's so true. personally, I like to make them really quick and sloppy. Um, and then later on, I like to, you know, find some some artwork online to use and make it look a bit a bit snazzier. Um, so Vlad's got a question up uh, in case yep. anyone's missed it. And that <clears> is, can you tell us the four different animals that have mutable tokens in Villagers? So if you answer that, you get a chance to win a copy of Tiny Towns Villagers. And we also put a link to Ross' Twitter account, so if you wish, follow him and find out some of his awesome content. The only way I've, I feel value in myself is by getting likes. So just go on that account and like everything. And I'll, <laughs> I'll feel temporarily like I matter. But you have to, you have to, you have, every day you've got to be there though. Like, otherwise. Uh, I, yeah. I, I love, I love getting on Instagram and just seeing those little like hearts. You just go, ooh. I don't know if <laughs> I shall do this, but here are some likes for you, Ross. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. you. You can take 10 likes right now on your different things on Twitter. The, the thumbs up that are happening in this chat right now, I'm imagining they're for me. Like, whatever is happening, I'm just imagining they're mine. No, they, they totally are. They absolutely are. <laughs> look, see, look at them going now. I like, see, that's yeah. what I needed. Woo. That's what I needed. Even if I come last in this game, I'm still a winner today because of all those like these little hearts and thumbs up that are happening right now. Yeah, you're getting oh, a bunch. Going. And yeah. you know what? Amy Kaiser is saying that she likes your typewriter. It was my grandparents. It's nearly a hundred years old. Like Typewriters are awesome. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right. The first call from the second run through the deck is a brick. Uh, I'm going to try to speed things up a tiny bit here. Brick, brick, brick. What am I brick doing? Am yep, I doing? brick is bad. Woo, bunch of hearts and likes. What was this plan? Lovely. Uh, there's a lot, of, yeah. There's a lot of hearts and likes going yeah. on. <laughs> I'm going to use my adventure skill for the first time. What am I doing with this? I'm just oh, doing yeah. everything wrong today. I'm... Oh yeah, that's what I want. So I'm just going to close the question for a couple of seconds and then reopen it for the guys that didn't have a chance to see it on their screen. Alrighty. What's going on? I don't. I don't feel good about what I'm doing here. This just doesn't feel. Two, this doesn't feel three, good. Four, five. And it's going to be open for a couple more minutes, and then we're going to close the question and choose a winner. Yeah, I don't feel too good either, Ross. I've I, I've got no plan right now. I'm realizing I can't do my temple the way I wanted to. I Everything's a little rough right now. but Yeah, I, I definitely fell into the trap of worrying about my villagers too much that I didn't worry about where I was putting my things. And then I, you know, I messed up that whole, um, my whole trading post thing. And, uh, you know. yeah. All right, after that brick is oh. you ready, Ross? Yeah, it's fine. Sorry, I, there's just no good there's just no good solution here, so I'm just putting it yeah. down somewhere. It's fine. Okay, right, next it. up is a wheat, which is okay. That is also gonna be from, from my adventure skill. I'm gonna just try to use my adventure skill a little bit earlier. So I, Ross, you know, I think it's like you're supposed to say. Hi, that, hello. But... Yeah. Teresa is asking if you can still get ribbons for your typewriter. Can you still get what? Sorry, ribbons. 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 Oh, you. this one. This one. Um, I mean, I don't think. I don't think so. It's pretty rusted up. It. It lived in an attic for a long time. I mean, bear in mind, my grandparents bought it in the nineteen thirties. So it's probably. Um, it's, it's probably. It, it. Yeah. It's. It's. 
it's seen better days. It lived in an attic for about, I don't know, 30 years uh, and then came out of an attic. It, it weighs a lot. It's not, it's not a portable type rare. It's like yeah. steel. It's really yeah. heavy. Right. But I do love it. But it's not functioning, unfortunately. You maybe can though. It's called a Remington like 120. I think it's the same company that makes the razors. It used to make typewriters. Yeah. Um wow. what was I doing? Wheat. You were placing a wheat, probably. A wheat. A wheat. Yes, I was. I learned how to type on a manual typewriter. I think that's one of the reasons my fingers are so strong. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the um, old ones. Like you have to really push really hard to make it make them work. Yeah. That sounds like a bit of a humble brag there, Ryan. Like, I've just got a very strong fingers. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just straight up bragging. I have strong fingers. I've been in a morning meetings with Ryan where he's, like, typing, and it just, like, it's... Like, like it sounds like he's destroying his keyboard. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I actually get to mute like, my darn mic. Those guys are they're they're to They're like, you know... <laughs> All right, ah. after that wheat is a builder's choice. Okay, okay, fine. Builder's choice. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yep. Okay. What was uh, it doing? Oscar is saying, oh, because of a frame, now I, every time I think ah. of Tiny Tunes, I think of Tiny Tunes. How about Tiny Tunes, Tiny Tunes expansion? I'll admit, I hadn't heard of Tiny Tunes until uh, there was a reboot mentioned earlier this week. A reboot was announced, right? Or something? Wait, you, ne you never heard of Tiny Tunes? What is what am I think? What am I? What is Tiny Tunes? Let me. Tiny Tunes is. It, uh... it, it's it's like a spinoff where there's in, like, it, it, it's all the old Warner Brothers, you know, like Bugs oh, okay. and, like Daffy, but it's like new kids, right? So there's like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was thinking like Animaniacs in my head, but Animaniacs that was like a is different the one, one that's getting rebooted. That's a different one. By who? Ah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I, I'm mistaken. I probably watched hundreds of hours of Tiny Tunes. I just didn't know it was called that. <laughs> All right. Next up is a stone after that builder's choice. Stone. Yeah, the chat is oh. reacting to you never hearing about Tiny Tunes. Wait, what was <laughs> what was this called? Stone. 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 You know, one of my um, one of my uh, hobbies when I'm bored. I shouldn't say hobby because that sounds a bit sad. A thing I like to do when I'm bored <laughs> is look up movies that I liked when I was a kid and look up who's in them because it's almost invariably a cast of extremely famous people, but I had no idea when I was four who any of these people were, especially, mm -hmm. you know, in movies and stuff. So it's always funny to be like... One of my I favorite think. things is when you when you um, you watch like a, a modern TV show or movie with someone famous in, and then weirdly you just start noticing them in every other thing that you watch that's really old, and they have like these yep. tiny little bit parts, and that, that, that's fun. Maybe yeah, we're, yeah. we're we're similarly cool in that way. Mm -hmm. Cool hobbies, couple yeah, of cool, cool guys. <laughs> After that, Stone is another glass. Can you believe it? Uh, I oh, can't wait. Pete, can you give me the last resource, the resources of this round? Sure. We have had brick, wheat, builder's choice, stone, and now glass. Um, and that glass is gonna be okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be all right. Um, uh, you know what? Really you know what? Be... I'm just gonna do that. It's gonna, gonna be gonna all right. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Um, I am pretty down. <laughs> the good thing actually is that I, uh, I kind of realize I can, um, I need to feel today because I'm like, wait, I can just start cooperating with, 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 yeah, board. I forgot about cooperate. I'm like, I need two villages in a building again. That's what I need. Panic mm -hmm. over, Ross. It's okay. I can do this. Well, can Mary's do this. letting us know that Tiny Toons is also coming back with the Animaniacs and the rest of the TV shows. There, I knew there. I knew there was something about it in the news recently. Oh, okay. All right, after that, glass is a builder's choice. Builder's choice. What's it doing? That's the wrong <laughs> placement, Ross. Hey, Pete. Speaking of Tiny Towns Villagers, what is your favorite building in Tiny Towns Villagers? Mm. <sighs> My favorite building. Okay, I think the building, I think my favorite building is probably the blacksmith, which uh, I'm not going to try to get it because my box is buried and stuff, but um, it is the yellow building where you can put a cube on it and then use that cube to build something as long as it's within the layout. Um, and it's worth a point at the end of the game. I almost never get it to be worth one point because I always just end up dumping a resource there. 
Um, but I think it's really fun. I like that it does something new with a building type that we haven't done before. Um, for a very long time, I kept telling Josh, look, the square part of the yellow building is the perfect size to hold a resource cube. We have to make something to hold a resource cube. He was opposed for a while. I broke him down, only took two expansions. Um, <laughs> and now we have black, which is, which is awesome. What's your favorite, Josh? Um, you know, I, I really like the, the shrine, which, you know, rewards you prime for a building, but I was also thinking, I love the clock tower. We've never shown mm -hmm. the clock tower before, but that's mm -hmm. where you get points for having unique buildings in the eight surrounding spaces that are not clock towers. So you like they're, they can be worth a lot of points, mm -hmm. but you also have to be careful not to put other clock towers in that same, like, you know, to not cross the streams and it's a lot of fun to sort of like give you that really full like <laughs> rainbow strategy and really kind of break your bit brain for like those extra points. Yeah. Um, and after that builder's choice, by the way, is another glass. Okay. Glass is back. Key. Maybe a little too much glass. glass. glass is back. Know, the biggest problem right now is also that glass is what is on top of my, uh, oh. like oh, no. I, with the public house, oh, I've got three of a building. That's just ruined that for me now, hasn't it? I regret yeah, every, we'll, we'll just go first. Make I just got to build a fourth one, right? Yeah, I re yeah. I'm, regr yeah. I'm regretting everything, but I'm going to keep going with it. So, Josh, Pete, can you guys talk a little bit about the future of Tiny Towns now that we have released Bill Ayers and Tiny Trees is coming oh, on I Monday? Could do, could do that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll keep making expansions as long as... AEG lets us and people want. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's safe to say, you know, we've got another expansion that we actually, we had some folks here in the stream help okay. play test it. We're still working on that one. Um, and pretty soon here, we'll be looking for more play testers. So you can look for a post about that in the Tiny Towns Facebook page. Um, and then we have a, at least one more expansion idea after that one that we're really excited about. We haven't started solid work on that one yet, but. Um, yeah, I mean, we want to keep on making expansions that are sort of in the vein of villagers, more of the same, but also a really cool new way to experience Tiny Towns, a little twist um, on the mechanisms. So, um, I've got a question. Sure. I can use the cooperate power with my trading post, so I can have stuff scattered everywhere, but it's one of the resources is my trading post, right? That's a great question. Let me double check that. Do you know the answer to that, Josh? <laughs> Because it counts so no, as a I resource, and I can have my resources spread and use resources anywhere with cooperate. Does that include? Does that include the trading post? Otherwise, it's going to destroy my life if the answer is no. Okay, Ross, I I don't want to destroy your life, <laughs> but I feel, like, I feel like the answer might be no. What do you think, Josh? Oh, come um, on. Let's look. Let's look. Because I I was actually thinking the same thing. Using yeah. resources anywhere, right? Sure, but. I don't know if that fits the the the, the rules check everyone rules place. check. I'm I'm sorry everyone in the chat. I just need I need this right now. That's, I need that's, this. Do you need it like immediately, or can I call a resource? Oh, you can do what you want. Okay. <laughs> stone Stone is the next resource. <laughs> I mean, I'll I'll bounce I'll bounce back, Pete. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, we reached that. <laughs> point on the stream when he's actually looking at the resource rulebook. Congrats, Ross. This is a this is a fresh <laughs> a fresh rule book. But yes, I well know. well the answer I think would be in the original one. So while Pete is figuring out figuring that out, we're gonna do a random choosing of the first winner. Here we go. Good luck everyone. Let me focus this. There you go. And the winner is number 19. Right on. Yep. All right. So I, I I didn't find anything anything definitive on that. I feel like the answer is the answer is is no. But this is also yeah. it's really the answer. I think is yes. You think the answer is yes? Okay. Based on based on how we word trading posts. Let's let's make it democratic. <laughs> No, you know, I mean, it's it's Villagers Release Day, and, and I don't want to ruin your life. So <laughs> the, answer's, the answer's yes. The answer's yes. The layout of any future buildings. 
when you construct a building that, that used a trading post as a resource, because you can use trading posts as a resource. All right. There, there we have it. That's a yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ross I mean, we'll have to Ross confirm it this year. For, for some reason, yes. that never yes. came up in our mind. Yes. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to go, hey, it's release date. Let's do some rules checks right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get that rule book oh, okay. open right. and pour through it. <laughs> After that stone is a builder's choice. Yeah, I, okay. we, we really appreciate that, Ross. <laughs> uh, Ryan in the chat says, Tiny Town Santa Monica, an expansion with the beach. Uh, it's funny. We are planning on doing that as well as Santa Monica colon Tiny Towns. That's a Santa Monica expansion where you build a tiny town that is next to Santa Monica. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey. You've got to have, you've got to have cat lady expansions for Calico and vice versa too. I mean, right? yeah, I, I feel like I need to talk to those guys and say, you need to put some of my cats in, in that. And I need to put some of your cats in mine. And we need to mix that chocolate and peanut butter together. <laughs> So right. I want to congratulate Ryan Moss, who is the first winner. He wins a copy of Tiny Towns Villagers plus Tiny Trees. <clears throat> awesome. Congra Congratulations, yes. Ryan. All righty. And a glass once again. A okay. Glass? Maybe, what, is th what is this? Maybe getting into too much glass territory here. I warned you all that this might happen. Uh, oh, actually, actually my... no, I'm fine with that. I got to use my Adventurers Guild. I'm using, oh no, I can't do that yet. So much glass. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. I can. Yes. Um, and am I going to use a villager right now? I think I might. I used two villagers doing a bit of, oh no, I didn't need to. What a silly boy. Alrighty. The next resource after glass is a wheat. Which is right. not great. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> that is going to be a problem. Yep. Okay, and then following wheat is builder's choice. Uh, what is this? Builder's choice. Okay. 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 All right. Um, that would be that, and I'll go ahead and. Well, I just realized I have not built my farm yet. You should work on that. I really need to. Like, yeah, yeah, you do. Yep. <laughs> uh, after that, builder's choice is a wood, which is okay. That doesn't help me. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, actually, that does help me. That's actually okay. Yeah. That's actually does it make me a bad person, though? And every time anyone says it doesn't help them, a little part inside me is like, yes. Like, uh, no, nope. maybe I won't be last. That makes like, you a tiny, you a tiny town player. player, sir. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go, Ryan. Yeah. That's it. That is, that is I've arrived. Fun. I've arrived yep. in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vlad is Vlad is the same way, except Vlad's a little bit more open with his glee. I think it's more like a maniacal <laughs> cackling um, when <laughs> I have a little on the resources. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ross, you just get like a little twinkle in your eye, like yeah, a little, Vlad, little, Vlad little, is just full on Bond villain, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, and after that wood is a brick, and I put that wood in just the worst possible place, completely messing up my brick. plans. I don't know brick, why brick, I brick, brick, myself. Brick, 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 brick. I'm gonna say this. I think I have recovered, and now I'm okay. I'm like I feel like at peace again with my town. <laughs> oh, really? That's okay. Good. All right. Um, have they got any food yet, though? Are they at peace with you? No, no, no. They, they are hungry, but they are at peace <laughs> at not eating. <laughs> All right, next up is Builder's Choice to end that run through the deck. Mm -hmm. okay. I am fixing my problem thanks Let's to the forage ability. I need to use forage more. I mean, it only costs one one villager, but that is such a handy ability. I'm going to yeah. wait on my forage. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use it, but I'm, I'm holding off. Yep. All right, we are nearing the... Uh, Nearing one o'clock here, so I'm going to try to speed things up a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to publish the second here. question right now. And it's pretty easy. You just need to tell us your favorite building from Tiny Tons for a chance to win a copy of 
Tiny Towns Villagers, and Tiny Trees. Mm. I mean, there are correct answers and incorrect answers. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. Correct answer rhymes with Hank. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's an incorrect answer. <laughs> Uh, no, we're no, we're ready, no, Pete. No, and I, I'm just gonna remind everyone that you can also win a copy of Tiny Towns Billiards and Tiny Trains if you share the stream in your timeline and like it. Alrighty. Paul, and Paul, the... Paul wants a confirmation of what the correct answers were for the types of um, uh, villagers. Can, can I say that, or, or is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's already closed. It. All right. So, so there's a squirrel, a mouse, a bird, and a hedgehog. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they are ready yep. on the screen so you can see them. All right. And stone is the next resource. Okay. Stone. Okay. And Donald is asking fly. where can they stone. answer the questions? And you will see that a screen will pop a window will pop up on your Facebook screen and then you just type your answer there. Last please. Uh, glass would be really nice. Am I going to use a resource here? I think or, uh, a villager here. I think I totally am going to use a villager. <sighs> Built myself my second and probably final public house. <laughs> okay. Uh, and after that, stone is a wood. Very sorry, uh, Ross. Boo. If it's a still showing oh. the first question, Richard, you you can close that window, and then it will pop up open again. He's a villager then. He's <coughs> a villager. Build a building. Theodore is asking. Right, so here's a good example of the shenanigans you can pull in villagers. So wood wood was called, and I've got this set up here, so I'm able to put a wood where that villager is, make a public house, which throws that villager into a building, and then I can use a villager to put down another wood down here and make another public house. Not that again. Shenanigans. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Now I just need to make some markets or I'm in huge trouble. Um, oh, if I do that, I can't make markets. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I totally can't. It's going to be worth it. Whatever. Markets can suffer. All right, actually, that wood is a builder's choice, and I don't want to undo that cool moment, so that's just going <laughs> to have to live with that. that lives. <laughs> oh, that was, that was funny. Oh, man. Oh, there is still a way. Okay, I have yeah. to get really lucky. Things are still okay. I can I can do this. All right. What I am going to... Why am I doing that? Oh, I'm not. I, I think I just got to keep moving and just keep delaying this farm even longer. Lame! Oh boy, I'm gonna do some risky stuff. Risky business. Risky business indeed. So, I need to do this. As Ross is pointing up. out, if you cannot see the question, on the top right corner of your screen, there is a white icon with a question mark inside of it. You can click that icon and you can see the question and type the answer correctly. Hey, what am I doing? Right, and after that, Builder's Choice is a glass again. Yes. And can you? Wow. I hate that. Well. <laughs> oh, uh, I just messed up again. I just messed up again. I ruined my plans. No, no. I can use. I can fix this. I keep forgetting Maybe. my plans, so. Or as Thomas pointed out at the bottom, if That's you're on thing. an Android phone. There's no resources anywhere. Bottom right and okay. purple on mobile. Thank you guys. Uh, again, I, come off the I really appreciate the community that is always here for helping each other out. That's so yeah. awesome. Thank you guys. That's great. After that glass, we have a wheat. <laughs> is terrible news. <laughs> uh, we, such a lifesaver. So Tori is saying, Pete, you can fix that, but please just not dancing around in your underwear. At least not on the stream. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. After that, we is Builder's Choice. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I am going to a lot. use a villager 
Ross is saying, Hello? I do not have a plan, I ah. just have glass. Lots of it. Oh man, this is going to be really scary. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, this is very bad. Okay, uh, after that, Builder's Choice is a wheat, which is awful news. Okay, that, that means I can do that with that. Wheat, so that's you say wheat, right? I said we. I have to give up. Actually, no, I don't have to give up my dreams yet. Build chance. You can do this. That's a thing. So oh, yeah, it's a wheat. Okay. Okay. It's a okay. wheat. It's a wheat. Right. Okay. 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 And then I am going to. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I won't do. Do the fine. thing, and I'm going to do that. Do resource. Thing. Yes. Okay. Make a. That was the thing. This is. Uh, I don't think I can do a lot more. <clears throat> Yep, I'm in a similar boat. Actually, if I do this, I can just fill up my whole board with with cottages and call it a day. Okay, that's pretty all right. After that, wheat is a brick. That ends my town. Whew. Um, brick, 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 brick. I think brick. I'm going to not place that brick and use the thing for my adventure skill. Brian, Brian how's your town coming along? My town is okay. I've built five. Uh, I've built five markets, but now I think I'm building cottages. I can't feed. Oof. We'll see. Maybe I can wriggle out of it if I can get maybe one more farm built. So Teresa, we're really happy that you join us, even if it's your first game of Tiny Towns and the first time in our streams. And I hope you're having fun. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thanks for joining. After that, brick is builder's choice. You guys are awesome. Um, all right, so I will. Um, for my builder's choice, I am going to place this. This is this is my shenanigans. For my builder's choice, I am going to place a wood, and then I'm going to use my meeple to place a wheat, which will build a second farm where this. Mouse is. Wow. And I have one empty space, and I'm going to be able to build whatever I want because I have my wheat here, which is why I need to build my, my. Oh, wait, no, I already have. Oh, I already have actually. Um, I already have all the cottages I want. So I'm just actually going to use this mouse right now, and I'm going to build a, um, a hearth. All righty. And finally, we have, not finally, it's just in the middle of the deck, we have a glass. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, Ernest is on England, and he's saying that we turn our clocks back one hour, so I'm late, but I'm wondering if you guys don't turn back your clocks in America. We At least in the week. part of America that I'm, leave, that I'm leaving, no, we don't. Not at all. We do. We do weird things on the clocks. Yeah, I was reading some interesting... Um, science behind turning clocks back and arguments for it and against it and basically the article i read suggested that there are a lot of health benefits to basically waking up when around when the sun rises so if we were to go to daylight saving time all the time where it's lighter in the evening there could be health consequences for that um, and a lot of countries actually do not have daylight saving time they only have standard time where it's uh, a little bit darker in evenings but lighter in the evenings, which is interesting and after that glass is a wood well, that was a little bit late. There is talks about removing it because when um, they, they say that more people get into like car accidents when you change yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. And, yep. I got to say, if we're not building any markets, I'm very happy with my board today. Yeah, I built two. Um, I shouldn't have, but. No, I mean, that's so good for your public house. It is. Yep. After that, wood is a builder's choice. Doing all right, Russ? Yeah, I'm just. Uh, I it's, it, arms today. It's just that it's that part of the game now where you're like, mm, can't really do a lot here anymore. Yes. Do you have any villagers hanging out? That you can uh, use? I've got, I've got one. I've got one. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't know how I'm going to use it. That's my problem. I think I'm just I think I'm just filling up my board and to conclusion. I need the villager that feeds cottages. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'd be, okay, that'd be nice. All right, after that, builder's choice. You ready, Ross? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Is a wheat. Wheat. Ooh. I think that is going to be it for me, no matter what you do. I think we're going to have three dead spaces. <laughs> I yeah, have one I... maker and forgot to use it. I'm so sorry, Julian. Yep. All right, let's yeah, I think. Them. Adventures Guild could be a monument to rival the usefulness of Bond Maker. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, I I think that it's really good. I yeah, because Bond Maker is only useful if you have cottages early. Uh, you know, you need to have enough cottages to get the use out of it. Um, Adventures Guild is really fun. Pete, can yes. you give me more resources? We're approaching the two o'clock. Sure. After we is stone, we've just got two more here. But bomb maker, you just get to throw away the resource and then continue later. Where yeah. this, you still have to play the same number of turns, and you don't get the choice of what you're swapping it with. Right, right. You know, they're they're very close. They're very close in my mind. Yeah, yeah. But adventures guild is it's useful right out of the gate. I don't know. After that, yeah. stone is builder's choice, and that run to the deck. Um, and I imagine, as usual, Vlad will throw up a few extra resources for anyone who is still playing. Uh, yeah. Actually, Ross, are you still going? No, I'm I'm locked down now. Okay, so before Is we that do that, our, I'm gonna close the question. Done? I'm gonna choose a winner, and I'm gonna remind you for the last time that you can win a copy of Tiny Tons Villagers and Tiny Trees by sharing and liking the stream on your timeline. So right now, we go to the dice, <laughs> and number one. Oh, oh. that's hot. Okay. And the first answer is from Wayne Roberts. So congratulations, Wayne Roberts, that says that his favorite building is the public house. Ooh, interesting. All righty. All right. And uh, I did, we'll go through scores really quick. Looks like uh, we might still have some math going on, but I got three points on my board which I feel like is pretty good, but I bet we'll see some really high scores today. Josh, you know how you did? I do. I got 42 points today. Nicely done. I, uh, I built four uh, public houses worth five points each. That was a big thing. I mm -hmm. got two complete temples, and then um, eh, that's where my points came from. Cool. Uh, Ryan, how'd you do? 27. All right. Uh, Ross, do you have your score? Yeah, yeah, coming in with 31. All right, nicely oh. done. And uh, do we have many scores from the chat yet, Vlad? Uh, give me one second. I'm just pulling the resources on the screen. Uh, Pete, if you can see the resources on the screen, can you tell everyone what we are giving them from the last for the last round? Yes, you're going to get a brick, followed by a second brick, and then a builder's choice. After builder's choice is stone. Oh. And then wood. And then Builder's Choice again. And then Wood, followed by Stone. Builder's Choice. Wheat, if you're still going. Good job. Another Wheat. You're probably not still going anymore. <laughs> builder's <laughs> Choice. Glass. A Brick. And then finally, Builder's Choice. And I'm seeing some pretty high scores, including a 235 from Allison. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Pretty good. That beats uh, John D. Clare's score. Uh, Patricia got 31. Great score. 29, 33. Lots of really high scores today. I'm not seeing Rose many with low 34, scores. 34, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, awesome. For David. Yeah. And I'm just going to tell you that. Nathan Sutherfield is the winner of the random likes and shares. So in a couple right, of seconds, congrats. production is going to give us a graphic. We can show it up and you can see if you want. And Julian is asking if you can blow up the hearth again. Sure. Give me one second. Yeah. And uh, Ross, before I sign off here, is there anything else you want to share with folks watching at home? Have a really nice weekend, everyone. That's it. Sounds good. 
Um, and what's your Twitch channel again? Oh yeah. If you want to follow me on the socials, I'll actually share it. Why not? Uh, you can follow me on Twitch, which is more games PLS. Drop the vowels out of please. Instagram, more games please with all of the letters. Twitter, PLS again, more games PLS. And you can visit my website or I've interviewed board game illustrators, moregamesplease.com. Um, that's probably enough for now. That's, it's plenty of homework for you all to do. Um, and Vlad, do we have anything else we want to share with folks at home before we yeah. sign off? One second, I'm just sharing follow Ross on Twitch, and here is the link. I'm just waiting for the graphic, and well, thank you everyone for being with us on the stream. Uh, this was an extraordinary stream. We are also going to come back next year with season mm -hmm. two of what we are doing. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but we, you might see some more little streamings during the year. We might be doing something else, and we should be showing some other stuff around. Also on Monday, don't forget to go to the AG online store and get a copy of Tiny 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 Trees, and also a copy of uh, Mystic Bell Evergreen. And more micro expansions are going to come during the rest of the year. Alrighty. Well, Ooh. thank you everyone for joining us on this this special surprise stream and have a good weekend and stay safe. Bye-bye. All right. Goodbye, Bye -bye. everyone. Stay Thank safe. you for playing with us today.